he expects me, me to, to tell, tell him how, how to, to treat, treat me. me well you should it's the finale yes, so before we get into that i want to publicly attack <laughs> They've tried to ruin my life severally on several occasions. First of all, I have no service, none at all. Sometimes mm-hmm. the back goes. Have you ever seen your phone go completely dead? Just nothing, nothing at, at all, at like all. on a plane. But you are just <laughs> on the road. On the road. It makes no sense. <laughs> it's not a service. It's not a service. Um, you know, funny enough, I used to use them. Can you see? You yeah, it. but I ported. Yeah. Everybody. Has I ported to it. another service provider. That one day laughed is. at me when I told him I use. Use nine mobile. Yeah, I feel like if you still use nine mobile, then like you can stay in a toxic relationship. I know. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> like you can, you're very tolerant, and like you can just like just ride it out with your on. annoying it, ass partner. But it wasn't this bad before, so I think now they know. It's literally. Oh my god, I've gone no, deep I think into nine the... mobile has been bad for a minute. I put it a while no, ago. Now, like, and I have no regrets. My texts don't send. There's no internet. Data is like... Amen. If... So the thing about the uh, network, like network that I put it to... <laughs> data, no, the last two. Where did you go? Um, and the details. Huh? They didn't pay us. No. Okay, don't the network that I put it I mean, we're watching, watching the other one so we can Bleep. talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, data is really expensive on the net service provider. Oh, that one now. It, it does. It's, and it's really good. It's really fast. I'm sure I have LTE. Oh, I'm connected. Look at me. Connected to Mado Wi-Fi family. You see? <laughs> yeah, I have LTE. Can you see? Your mates. They don't even know where LTE is. I just have four. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> How do you feel that we are... When in our first episode air? I in like September? September, right? September ish? Is that when our first episode yeah. aired? Yeah, I think it was in September. I'm I trying to feel, check my Instagram. I feel fulfilled. I feel like it was a nice season. I'm going August. To August 10th. August? Yeah. It was August. It's been yeah. a while since summer. Yeah, look at us. Look at us. Look, look at, at us. us. <laughs> <laughs> look at us. I love that. Um, I feel very fulfilled. Um, this is something I've always wanted to do. Mm. Yeah, like I, I feel like uh, when when one day one day messaged me, he was like a um a ray of sunlight, you know. I needed, I needed, I really needed this podcast, especially for where I was like emotionally and like everything. So it it's like really, therapy. it was therapeutic <laughs> for me. That's why I was, I, I got to be like, I, there were some episodes that I was really vulnerable and like I was very open about a lot of things because I felt like I needed the outlet and I feel like I've grown since the podcast started. How do you feel? I love that. I feel, I feel it. I feel somehow saying this after. <laughs> but no, I enjoyed the, I just, I liked I like just gisting with you. Yeah. I feel like I'm just... I enjoy the banter. I enjoy the banter. Yeah. I enjoy... But then, yes, the vulnerable moments were... It was special. I didn't expect them. So it was very... It was special You know the moments. episode that I cried? I haven't been able to watch it. Really? I didn't watch and listen I to it. it. <laughs> I didn't watch... That's the only episode I haven't watched and listened to. I was a bit shy about that episode. Oh, so so nice. I haven't watched it. It was nice. Because uh, I didn't know you I didn't know you were this. I feel I feel like I liked you before. I loved you before. But now I'm don't like, make oh me my cry, god. Tamara, stop. So I'm very emotional, yes. yes. I, I'm There's one of those layers. That, You're like an onion. Yeah, I'm one of those people that You're like I cry. Sorry, my phone is ringing. I don't know why of I put course. it on my butt. Of it's very... course. If your phone doesn't vibrate on your hmm. nether regions, have we filmed an episode of That's not my podcast. nether regions. It's northern no, of my nether regions. <laughs> <laughs> but yes i feel like getting yeah. to know you on that extra level was a special part yes. of this podcast i yeah. did enjoy this but in general when we started i was just like one day was like hey i need somebody who is <laughs> who is ready i was like to just be vulnerable to be low-key relatable and yeah i, I think like, so Let's and go. i think what does it for me as well is like running into people and them saying like they listen to the podcast um is is very 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 it's very, very it's, it, it never it never 
it never not surprises me. It always surprises me. Let me find it bomb. Yeah. And yeah, um, it does. <laughs> and like I enjoy the conversations that we have because like everybody's like, yeah, you said we should say hi when we're running to you. So like we're saying hi. And, like we go on to have like random conversations, which I absolutely love. I'm really looking so, forward to Madam Fest because like seeing Yes. Like, I've been trying to figure out what to wear. I don't know what I'm wearing, Shab. I have no idea. I have no idea what, I have no idea what I'm can wearing. We, can we discuss? Because I feel like <laughs> I, I have know. I have a vague idea. Should I we, have should we, no should we coordinate? Should we coordinate? That would be we so cute. The idea that I have if we coordinate it would be sick. Yes, we should. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to. Um, I'm really excited for it. I want to see the podcast. Um, I want to see how people react to the podcast in real time. Mm. I also you know what I, I've been doing? I just randomly send my friends the link. I just send, I just go, go just to the group chat it. and copy the link and then just go to Surprise. like a conversation and just post the link there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody to tell That's me. That's our marketing plan. So <laughs> I don't want anybody to tell me. I mean, I posted it on my stories multiple times, but I don't want anybody to tell me, oh, I didn't know. I didn't have, so like when I think of someone that I haven't sent the link to, I just go and copy it. Just... My friends can testify. <laughs> I have I've been doing it. <laughs> but yeah, um Do you know what I've also what I've been doing is attacking people for like, okay, what do you I've been looking for like feedback, what they want us to talk about. Okay. And it's usually a lot of people are dirty perverts, man. All of Yes. Them. I feel like because All we talk about because we swear and we say certain things on this podcast. My mom was like, like Yeah, I can't listen to your podcast because so I people not supposed to be Christian women. I was like, chill. Um, <laughs> Chill, mommy, ch- daddy, chill. Okay. <laughs> like, As the ice we are. Like, <laughs> like no, not anti ice. Anti ice. <laughs> like, please. We are, we are, but, we are, um, we are. yeah, there were also some interesting ones. So, you know, season two, Lodi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> season I'm two, really Lodi. Season two. I am. Yeah. yeah um, um, we still are talking about season two. As if one day has told us that we're not going as to in, do anything can happen. If you come here and you see <laughs> two Asian women, I will instead. come as Kazadi. Don't be surprised if they no, call him to Korea. It's surprised. You look irrelatable. <laughs> you guys, if you guys ever <laughs> see me disrupting any space like this, and they say it's in like he just know that it's this place <laughs> because I came here and I saw all that people. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> Um, should we get into the episode? We asked you guys to send us stories. Yes. Um, From, um, Zora did not send us the link Abidi thing until we got here so questions. that we will not read it Abidi. before. So let me read the first one. Are it's how many questions? pages? Or are they like they just experiences? Comments. It's experiences, questions, okay. different things. It's eight pages. So let's let's start with the first one. Mm-hmm. Hello guys, I love you guys so much. We love you too. I was listening to the episode on pregnancy scares last month. And at that time, I was having the biggest pregnancy scare I've ever had. My period was three weeks late. She was having the biggest pregnancy scare scare Mm -hmm. she has ever had. My period is I'm screaming. (laughs) My period was three weeks late. I took four pregnancy days. And they were and all were negative. Uh. I went to the pharmacy to buy abortion pills. But they weren't willing to sell. Obviously. Obviously. After begging, they did. Whoa. A pharmacy is... Wow. First of all, I didn't know you could buy abortion pills just if you go into a pharmacy. I was scared to take it. And I decided to just wait for my next period since the tests were negative. Finally, my period is here. Woo! To God be the glory. And I've been so excited to see... And I've never been so excited to see period in my life before. I mean... Next time, use a condom. I mean, <laughs> yes, that. Also, three weeks. Or like do birth control or Also, something. I feel like three weeks, how many negative tests? I wouldn't you know, panic. The thing about it is, um, I, I would panic because I have um, PCOS and endometriosis. So, it's like, you know, and in the past, I did not panic. Mm. And it turns out, I should have panicked. <laughs> I should have had it. <laughs> you know, so I think that um, it is one of those things. Yeah. yeah like, I think, uh, I'm more panical. If you know at a, I know if you keep at a point, you do begin to wonder. But then I wouldn't have bought the abortion pills. Fear I would not. First of all, I didn't pills. know you could just Number go and one, buy abortion pills. You can't. That's why she said she begged. No, I, I, I didn't know it was even a thing that was sold. Yeah, you can. Ah, I think you can. I think people have tried to. Is there like a name? Or are they just 
Wash yes. Okay. I like. I'm. I'm not going to say. Don't the name say the name. Don't say the name. No, I'm just wondering. Never do that. But yeah, they, they are. I'm just wondering. Fair. But yeah, baby girl. Um, we thank God that you are not pregnant. Shout that out to you for not being shout pregnant. Out to you. Please, Please be careful after that. Get some kind of birth control. The pill. Yes, and, and also implants. use a condom. You know. There's no signal. <laughs> <laughs> so it begins. Hi, besties. Hi. Um, this is a response to the whole pregnancy scare question. Lord of God, you people, you wrap up, wrap up, wrap up, Lagos, wrap up, this Africa. Is exactly <laughs> why we need a condom sponsor. Ah! You see, this is the perfect. This would have been the perfect the time rent, get at for me. you to run your condom ad because these bitches out here just just doing dangerous things, raw dogging. Basically, I had. The best sex of my life during a one night stand with another woman. She used a strap on. That's wonderful stuff. So pregnancy scare. Pregnancy scare? <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, then I was a few days late on my period the following month <laughs> and got so scared that I legit started researching whether or not I could get pregnant via a silicone dick. You cannot. The long and short is, I am happily child-free to this day and still enjoy trysts every now and again. Darling, mm, we love you because you called us besties. pregnancy scare and then there's what you had, which is a touch of madness. <laughs> because <laughs> it's not really, <laughs> there was nothing to be scared of. <laughs> nothing at all to be scared of. But hello, it's okay, bestie. We're we'll still here for you. It do, it do happen. It do happen. I did a pregnancy test once with my friends. I hadn't had sex. I just wanted to see what it would be like to like pee on a stick and then wait and like feel that moment. So how did like, that feel for you? It was so thrilling. <laughs> I was like, for what if though? You know. Virgin Mary, did she expect it? Like, you <laughs> never know. So, in that moment, those two Not minutes, Virgin Mary. thrilling. <laughs> like, wow. Hey, let's go to the next okay, one. Okay, next one. Um, hi, Valerie and Tamara. I just wanted to say I love the podcast so much, and you guys are doing a great job. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. And I wanted to ask where Tamara got her fish. The ones I bought keep di- the ones I bought keep dying in two weeks. Um. Where did you buy? I have the fish. I don't have a fish. You have a fish. I'm the one that has the fish. Where did you buy your fish? And my fish was a gift. Oh, the gift. Yeah, the fish. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gift. But I think I think it was gotten from Aquatics. That's like there's a place where you can buy. What's your Instagram Instagram handle? I think. That's so cute. Because they, they, I mean, they've been really they've been really thoughtful with helping me. Keep my fish alive. You know, fishes have ah, they have like they can. I might give someone why, a fish. Yeah, they're very they they are tricky, but they are also they're easy to maintain, but they're also tricky. Mm. They're, they're low maintenance rather, so it's not like you have to feed them every other uh, other day, mm-hmm. and then wash out their bowl every two weeks. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, yeah, but you have to be careful not to like f- like fleet. And leave them there because that can kill them if you like spray insecticide and like you uh, leave the if fish. If you out. cover the bowl, would they be fine? Why would you cover the bowl? But if you do cover the bowl, would they be okay? I don't try to cover the bowl. I just put him in a different room, in a room that I don't fleet. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, um, I hope that helps. <laughs> yeah, in general, like if I was like, like put a book over the fish tank or Tomorrow, something, I don't, don't know. I don't want I don't to play know. games I with my know. fish's life. That would be my fear. <laughs> And he's so tiny. When I don't have no going small to fry him, I don't find well. funny. You know, if he's so tiny. When people say they're going to fry him, I don't find it funny. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. you know that like uh, that Yoruba snack, fried fish, the little fried fish. Sorry, not. Anyway, moving on to the next <laughs> question. I literally just said I don't find it funny. <laughs> Oh my god, another one. Pregnancy scare. I'm telling you, at this point, these condom sp- condom brands, they just fumbled the bag. We was the we, fuck? We were apart for the holidays. So when we got back to school, we were going crazy with sex. <laughs> and at a point, we ran out of condoms and just decided to wing it. We've all been there. Next thing, my period was late for four months. Oh my god. I did all sorts of scans and then the doctor put me on BC because I had an irregular period. That was God. That was or somebody that was a higher power or something talking to this person to say, My dear, 
The sex is bad. <laughs> Don't do it again. Four months. That's not a pregnancy scare. That's a pregnancy terror. I swear. That is. Ah, a- and it was just irregular periods at that exact time that we did this rowdy thing. That was a message. Yeah, that's a terror. That's a terror for real. I can't imagine my period being late for four months. I, I would have joined a nunnery now. Are you joking? <laughs> I would This is why you should not have sex anyway. Because boys bring bad boys bring bastard babies. I'm screwed. <laughs> Ah. Ah, talk to boys because you have you get pregnant you get pregnant (laughs) (laughs) anyway let me read let me read the next one my first orgasm was amazing Uh. I was squirting uncontrollably good for you okay I couldn't even make any sounds (laughs) I feel you (laughs) okay 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 Um, after that experience, I never fake moon to please a man. You go, yes, girl. girl. I love that for you. Yes. Let him earn that moon. Let him earn it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely something wild. Good for you. I love, love hearing it. orgasm love stories. It. I feel like do you watch my Imagine. unorthodox life? No. Okay. But anyway. It sounds sweet. What was it about? It's about some like Jewish some babe that was really like Oh, an unorthodox Jew. Yeah, but like she, she was like ext- like an extreme like sh- Jew. Like um, everything, everything, and then she just woke up one morning and like ran away from the community and like started her own life. Now she's like the CEO of some top modeling agency, That's and like she, like she, she has just she had blown. Uh-huh. I just started watching it recently and it's really sick. So she's always, um, her thing is she's always giving people vibrators. She's always telling people to have sex and explore. So when that babe, when I read this thing about the baby saying she was sweating or controlling me and I said, yay, I felt like Julia Hart, <laughs> like encouraging you. That's how she is. Like if she meets you, she'll ask you about your sex life. Like she'll offer you a vibrator. And just be like. Tell you like explore everything. Like don't hold back. Don't let society tell you what you, you should do. Yeah. my friend. Yeah. I, like you, I think you'd love her. I think so. I think you you should watch it. I, 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 it sounds interesting. I yeah, it's, it's like really something good. that really might be on my list. I'm not sure, mm-hmm. but I love that for people that your very first orgasm was that fantastic. For some people, it's just you know you know those ones that's like a small burst. It's just like two seconds. Like, eh. I'm screaming. And then that's just yeah, and then it builds. But first, ladies, yeah, I'm no other man, you. nobody else can. I'm happy, happy for you. I love it for yeah. you. I also feel like we should stop like deceiving men that's like you're enjoying what they're doing, especially when you're like not. Like, don't fake moan. You're only even doing yourself. Why? And why would you do yourself? No, I used to fake moan, not because yeah, I wasn't when I was younger. A good time. Not even because I wasn't having a good time. Sometimes it was nice. Like you're hungry, you need <laughs> to pee, you are bored. Like you, okay, I've, I mean, I've. I've Finish like twice. Let's be going. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah, you have a I movie think... to catch. There's things doing. You know? <laughs> so I don't always take it personally. Yeah. I but feel just, you. Now I just say, get up, um, get up. most people orgasms are nice, but like I'm dehydrated, bro. I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming. Oh, oh no. wow. This so, one is long. I like it. Are you reading? Yeah, reading that one, right? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I asked my boyfriend. Why he has never said I love you to me. And his response was the word I love you is a strong word and cannot be used casually. Another thing is he follows a lot of ladies on Instagram. I mean ladies with big nyash. (laughs) (laughs) And he'll tell me I shouldn't be bothered that they are not his type. (laughs) <laughs> so why are you following why are you following so many of them men are so they are not your t- men are crazy do you know <laughs> men are crazy <laughs> and wait he always claims he works with ladies another thing is <laughs> ladies send him this story gets worse was, uh, worse how I'm worse I'm reading it because I want I want to completely it, taken aback by what you are saying another one is ladies send him illicit pictures on his phone and he doesn't see it as a problem. And he never drops his phone at all. He takes his phone into the bathroom when he wants to poo. And he'll be lying that he was listening to me, ma- uh, listening to music. Meanwhile, I wasn't hearing any music. This girl too is crazy. Because at this point, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, boy. I, uh, you know, you're our guy. But come on. Like, you need to get the fuck out of You need to seize place. that phone. You need to get out of that relationship. You don't even need to seize but the phone. Seize but the phone seize the phone. Out. Just, you know. To make sure you are right and then be going. 
The annoying thing is he expects me to tell him how to treat me. He literally took a girl out on a date. He expects me, me to, to tell, tell him how, how to, to treat, treat me. me. Well, you should. Wait, that line. Wait, okay. So we'll come back to that sentence because honestly, it doesn't have anything to do with the next part of the story. Okay. He literally took a girl out on a date. Unfortunately for him, he posted the video of both of them on his Instagram story and later took the video down. Later, he came saying she has a boyfriend and he was helping her with her dissertation. He's very inconsistent. He only messages or calls me when he wants to fuck. Once that day has come and gone, he'll go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> How do we tell her? <laughs> oh, God. Sweetie. <laughs> How do you... Hun. Baby. Um, Hun. So, ah, darling. Oh, honey. That's not... You call that man your boyfriend? That's not your boyfriend. That's not your boy... That's not even... Your friend, <laughs> guy, is a boy. Yes, <laughs> yes, and uh, you fuck him, fuck boy. That that's what you have, darling. You are not. <laughs> you are in a trap. <laughs> you are in a trap. Oh, <laughs> this poor. And if, it sounds like if he <gasps> has another girlfriend that he doesn't. She, <laughs> <laughs> That is not your man, it's girl. Not your man. Um, if you wake that man up That's not your and tell man. him to list his girlfriend, he will say 15 girls. He will not say your he name. He will not say you. Sweetie. And I'm not even resting you. He's whining you. He's he has wound you up. He He's me. lying to you. I'm telling you this Jeez. shit for free. Your man went on a date. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I'm so you sorry. say what? Sorry, sis. Sister girl, but yourself, you need to, you need to wake you up. Need to you wake need to open your up. eyes. That is you not know, a the boyfriend. Good thing is, whenever you wake up, is your morning. Is <laughs> even if no, it, see, that's it. You know, that's life. You know, it's funny. You know, Tamara and I can laugh because we've one hundred percent been in this situation before, where we assume that somebody mm. that we're giving all this time and energy you to think is somebody you that the same, but it's a lie. Really that's why we can laugh because we've been we've here, been girl. there we've been where you have been we have we these have cars have to prove it but so trust it's me it's okay mm-hmm. come out of the darkness into the light please please step into the light wow let's wow it's <laughs> good you came to us you see this podcast is saving lives hey, look at us look at it's us saving lives look, look at us, us. <laughs> look at this <laughs> please dear carry your slippers in fact you can even leave the slippers for him <laughs> but you need to run the fuck out of that situation that is <sighs> not your man see that nah, man if he's in the club and you call him that you had an accident he'll finish clubbing you know? <laughs> okay. this last one is okay. it's proper long it's long as fuck we're going to share it okay we can share it oh that's so cute start. it says hello queens so fun Hi. fact I stumbled on you guys weeks ago and I, I'm glad I clicked on your show. I feel like it was fake because I had a back on a rediscovery on a rediscovery of self journey and I find a podcast that talks about Loki relatable experiences. See what I did there? <laughs> Anyways, I've been listening to your podcast and I just realized my and I just realized to myself that life is actually never that deep. Never ever. People are trying to make themselves happy. Knowing this has helped me a lot in my shadow works. I'm about to share, I'm about to share is not relating to any of the topics done recently, but I want to share it because I'm like, why not? P.S. The synergy in your friendship is everything. I love it. It makes the podcast low-key. Podcast relatable Mm -hmm. (laughs) low-key. You're cute. Okay, forgive my word humor. Anyways, this story is about a guy that says he wants to get to know me yet anytime we talk or have conversations it somehow ends up talking it somehow ends up talking mm-hmm. about sexual stuff you want to know that pussy you want to know that pussy <laughs> that put, what that pussy do <laughs> oh, this. once upon a time I'm chatting with a guy on snapchat but we haven't met mm-hmm. it's been an on and off type of conversation but recently we got really chatty all of a sudden nigga says he likes me and wants to get to know me and I'm like okay there on, we speak w- more in depth about it. And Baba started performing. Like, how can I be expressing an emotion about myself? And you turn it into, I know that you are here and you need someone to take care of you. And I will because you're my princess. You're my bitch. And uh? I know we're going to have some fun. <laughs> uh? If you are going through things. <laughs> <As in. laughs> 
she says i'm like what nigga please like that sounded very demented to me or am i overreacting no dear <laughs> <laughs> yeah not yeah not at some points we switched to telegram you why do you use this dodgy dodgy what's app? telegram telegram that your message you delete after how many seconds i'm so uncool i don't I you don't even... know telegram no. telegram is even old as hell babe uh, from like uni days on <sighs> blackberries you see your telegram sorry <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I barely, I don't even, I don't know this um, thing. Girl, please, first of all, get off these fucking apps. Uh-uh. So, if a man wants to now lie against you, how you be? He doesn't know. Look at the reasons. She, okay, please, please, please. Let me read. Let me read from here. Go ahead. He said, at some point, we switched to Telegram to have more genuine and private conversations. This is like under one week we've been speaking to each other. That's when I start trying to... Please, I feel like that is a red flag. When the person is like, you know what? Let's go to an even secreter app. <laughs> Instead of getting your number to call you or text you, they say, let's go to the dark. I feel like all of the red flags went there, man. As in... Uh, but this is the reddest flag, please. Moving forward, girls and men to everybody. Oh, then when I start trying to change the conversation... Okay. To something more PG-14, since he's getting to know me, he starts to say, oh, I don't trust him. He won't hurt me. And all those kind of stuff. You tell a woman when you're trying to win a trust, not for you to massacre it at the end. <laughs> that happens every single time we go around these, these sexual conversations. Also, for some weird reason, he was very obsessed with seeing my nudes. Oh, sweetie, it's not a weird reason. He wanna, he he wanna pussy, see what your pussy. pussy. Put your see. pussy lips on live. I give you a thousand dollars. You have a hoil? Look, <laughs> look. At some point, we were having a conversation that led to nude taking and nudes being leaked, and he asked if I had. I told him I did, but I don't share. Oh, well, Papa didn't let me rest too. What did he not say to view my PG-18 con- content? To add some context, we spoke about BDSM at some point. And I told him I'd like to be submissive. And he's like, oh, he's a dumb. Like, okay, cool. Hmm. I'm like, you will are doing BDSM. This country, no health care. <laughs> if something should go wrong, where do we go? <laughs> <laughs> but continue, keep it up. <laughs> um, we spoke about, where was I? Mm-hmm. However, I insisted that I didn't want to share them. Um, another sermon started again about, oh, he's trying to get to know me. He knows I'm a freak and I love to do freaky stuff. That I should trust him. That he understands I've been hurt and guys have broken my trust, but he's not going to do that. That he's different and all that bullshit. To cut the long story short, I told him that even if I want to share my news with you, you have to earn my trust. And like, he's like, okay, fine. But he was still using the old tape technique of dumb and submissive contact proposal. I told him all these proposals about dumb and submissive game he wants to play. I'm not interested and that's not what I'm interested in. And he said he'd buy me sex toys. That's quite a... That's a response. That's a response. I'm here for... A bad response. Like, I don't want to talk about this. I'm Let here me for buy this, you sex toys. I'm here for the... I'm here for the buying sex toys with someone that you actually want to do it with. Yeah, but that's but not cool. somebody that's actively telling you, stop talking to me about sex. You're like, I want to plug it in your bag. Also, I feel like the part where you should have blocked this man we've passed it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, we are way past I feel like at this point sis now we're just reading your gist we're gonna come back to exactly the point we've already told you the I point like where you could you, have you, cut you, him you, off you, you're, you're <laughs> part of the problem at you're this part point. of the problem but it's okay we all grew we all grew we all grew um yeah I don't die nothing where I don't see for Lagos we're point is mm-hmm. Um, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. I just wondered why he was so adamant in seeing my nudes. Like, are you trying to leak them or what? Oh, you're trying to play me so much for wanting to get to know me. I mean, I can be aloof. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so girl, even writing this story, I feel st- it said it ends. Shall we please, if it is, educate me because I don't tire, and that's what we're gonna do. I mean, having conversations and talking about your sexual life, a green light to have sex. <laughs> Please, if it is okay. Um, okay, that's I mean, a very girl, loaded. Yes. That's it's a very not, loaded. I don't think it's weird. To, First that's... of all, I feel like you should have told us your age for context. Yeah. But judging by everything you're saying, please don't be older than 25. You have to be younger than 25. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you're older than 25, then... Uh, it might be youth. Um, I mean, look, I don't think it's that weird that it basically he was just he was just trying to see your titties. It's not that odd that he, he, he didn't like breasts. you. He just did not like you. That's that's normal. You it's know, all right. I think that unfortunately, um it's like 
you shouldn't i feel like what i what i decided what i learned about like um like talking to what i always kind of made a rule of thumb for me was i always did what i wanted to do in relationships that's or situationships that i found myself in huh? so if like mm-hmm. i want to if if i meet you and mm-hmm. i want to if i wanted to just talk to you if i wanted to explore something more with mm-hmm. you if i wanted to keep you at arm's length then like that's what we so whatever doing. it is that i wanted so mm-hmm. i i i learned not to sort of take the lead from the guy mm-hmm. i've learned that if is a part is it and and when you do that it comes to a point where if you're on the same page then it's perfect because oh, this girl, but then this if you knew the page she was on yeah I but was that's what waiting I'm for him to yes, join her and that's on the what page I'm saying like she should have just not be waiting to meet any like just know where what yeah, you, you want from that relationship because he clearly didn't and want just what pursue you that. that's what i'm trying to say yeah. like i if i if i meet someone and i'm maybe i'm trying to get to know the person or whatever from as from as young as when i was like 20 mm-hmm. if i've made up my mind and that's why i'm giving chances to people that didn't necessarily deserve them because i on my own have already made up my mind that i want to get to know you on that level mm-hmm. so i think it is 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 powerful and it's also a vulnerability but then at least is what you wanted to, from that situation mm-hmm. now you're just waiting around for someone that obviously just wants to fuck you but you want him to act like as if he likes you like for him to see. fuck you but he has already no. shown you like he the page told is you on. clearly like i don't want to know how you feel so if show me your breasts yeah so if like, that, you want to so fuck him, you like block him yeah, and wait, mm-hmm. like you, you can't wait like, for a guy to behave like, the way you want him to behave. Exactly. That's like, not that's literally gonna the happen. Of what I'm trying to say. That's like you can't. Happen. And that's why no. even sometimes I even dare I even reach a little bit. This is why most of the time when you see like a really beautiful woman, people always say, ah, is that the guy she and she ended up with? Because like I feel like in in a if you if you if you hold the power and the dynamics, fuck you. If you hold the power and the dynamics of like the relationships mm-hmm. in how I've described it, right? Mm-hmm. You're now wondering why is it this person that she now chose mm-hmm. to like settle it in in a sense, right? So it's like when you have that power, people can't necessarily question your decision. Like for example, Jay Z and Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> people say, "Oh, Jay Z is cool. He's a businessman. He's a rapper. He's a this is that. That's fine." But they're like, "She's Beyonce." Like, I mean, nobody will ever. Can you think he of one man? Technically groomed her. Though. Can you think of uh, also another angle? Technically like, groomed, he groomed her. her. Met her as a teenager. I, I swear, so, I dare I say she's that Beyonce that's outside. Way. I don't know. If Beyonce at home. Yeah. She's Sasha Fierce outside. Is Beyonce at home? <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Fierce. She's be- <laughs> well, like you get what I'm trying to be- say. I feel like having some form of control of the narrative that goes into the relationship you're in helps you in yeah. the long run. Yeah, know what and you want. You, know what you, you want. You keep your expectations at a minimum, mm-hmm. and you also and I think everybody needs to also realize that not every man that you meet and talks to you is supposed to be a fairy tale. It's not everybody that you meet that you're like, oh, he took me on this date. That's he did this. True. That's true. Some people are Some there for men character are, building. They, uh, oh, that's what I was going to say. There are experiences. Right. Yeah. There are levels to cross. You know, when you're playing Super Mario, sometimes you do side level. Some men are side level. Yeah, yes, I think we know. should stop romanticizing every stop. Also, like stop romanticizing every man that's in your life. Yeah. If or every person. If this yes, every, every person every in your life. Romantic exactly. Experience. Every possible Some encounter of, of romance. Stop like oh any possible or encounter with the opposite sex. That's yeah. if you're heterosexual. Stop romanticizing everything. Do you a know guy what I can blame? Compliment Do you know what I blame? Mills and Boons and all these uh, yes. romantic stuff. A all guy this, can compliment all these princess fantasies. Dusk till dawn. You are thinking, no one he may change for me. Sister, it girl. may be a fairy tale. It's a lie. That man is trash. Block him today. And if a man has already shown you who he is, don't say, oh no, baby, I believe. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're you looking for you're looking for what is in there. You shouldn't be stressed. That's just how I see if the situation. If it's stressful, and then, like, yeah, throw it to keep rest of twenty twenty two. Yeah, what time. are you what are you looking forward to the most next day? <sighs> rest, relaxation, calmness. Yeah, I want I'm, to travel I'm, more I'm, next year. I'm taking. I'm having a less projects. I just want to work on nice shit. Uh-huh. I don't want to stress. This year I was frantic. I, I was dying on the line. 
I want to be a lady of leisure next yeah, year. No, not that. I want to work leisurely, but I want to be yeah, working. Yeah, like leisure, I don't leisurely be worker. Yeah. Like I want to be one of those people that I want to be like Mariah Carey. I want to find my own. All I want for Christmas is you. Honestly. So that <gasps> I can just pop in, pop out. You know, those vibes. But anyway, um, I'm really excited for next year. Um, I'm turning 30. I know I've said this so many times. Um, I'm already planning. Mado my, is I'm going already, to do party. They have to. <coughs> you guys, if you know, I don't for me, I go vex for that. Nah. Um, I'm going to, I want to, I'm already planning my party. Um, super exciting. Um, yeah, like I said, I want to, I want to, I want to travel for my birthday. Um, I also want a car. I'm repeating it. So that the universe will People that know yet is for the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in case you didn't watch that episode, you yeah, it's this one. Um oh. and I'm really excited. Christmas is my favorite time I of the year. Love Christmas. So, so much. I'm very, very excited for this Christmas. Christmas. Um I'm doing a thing in my house. I keep what saying are you doing? like a lunch at noon till midnight thing. Oh. Um <laughs> I was I, when I make the fly, I'll send it to you. Okay. You. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it should be like really chill. It's just going to be food, cake, alcohol. Just um, mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. and people haven't been to my new apartment. My accent che. I do remember saying that, but yeah, at that time, do you remember that dollar? <laughs> it was different. It has dropped even from then. Has it dropped? Yes. What's dollar? I've, like? I've ordered the accent chair, and if I, I swear, if you come to my house and you try to turn that chair, <laughs> eh? If you try, if you try, you take installments. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I'm really excited for next year. I want to see how like everything goes. I couldn't have predicted how this year turned out. I really I hope really I'm not sick not. next year. Actually, no, I could have. I feel like I'm excited for next year. I hope I'm not sick next year. That's my only prayer. I don't want to go to the hospital yeah, next year. Really. Please. I feel like... From my lips to God's ears. I feel like my sickness was part of the end of this year. So next year, I'm going to be happier than Amen. Ever. So amen. You ever see me on just fruits and veggies, you guys? Fuck! I'll be unstoppable! Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. going to be fun. I'm working out as well. Anyway, I'm not making any new year resolutions. I'm yeah, just neither. I haven't done that in like years. I've just been like, yeah. God, let the year be like this. Mm. I had a, at the beginning of the year, I was like, I want to fuck 2022 up. Like, I want chaos. I want, mama. Um, uh, so this year, I soft, soft. I want to be I soft. Really have any, <laughs> I really have any. I want. I didn't really have any new year resolution. I didn't have any. I just wanted chaos. Yeah. I think I want to spend New Year's in Ghana, but we'll see what happens. I haven't even thought of New Year's. No, I want to be here. I don't want to go out this Christmas. It's very weird. Well, I want to go out, but not like after New Year's, after Christmas rather, from like the 26th, 27th. I don't know why my landlord is calling me. I want to greet you. Yeah. It's anyway. Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much for listening to the entire thank 17 you. episodes. Um, for your feedback, you know, um, we absolutely appreciate you. Thanks for coming. We're going on a very journey. short, a very short breakout. Be a short breakout. I want to go my long. We're going on a short break. <laughs> 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 and please come to the live show. Please, it's on the 18th of December mm-hmm. at Mom Mama Gardens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at Mama Gardens. Yeah, I didn't even try to say the name. In Lucky Phase One. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, it will be super fun. Tamara and I have decided to call well, it. So um, it will be yeah, it's gonna be cute. Um, so just come, come and have a good time. You get to meet us, get to meet the guys from mm-hmm. Menizims. We'll do it mm-hmm. like this. Going to be it's like, be it's, it's it's really fun. it's really going to be fun. Like yeah. come and work with us, and yeah. then hopefully we'll see you next season. I've realized that every single time I'm trying to give the information for the podcast, I always say the wrong things. Do you? I think so. Loki. Then really, guys, thanks so much for watching. Because if not, I've been telling you where to watch us too, <laughs> <laughs> or how to listen. Hey, shut up, relax. <laughs> relax. Why are you I'm like? Just this? Telling you throwing me on that means you are real fans. <laughs> so now I have my facts right. The Instagram handle is Loki Relatable Pod. That's what you've been saying. Is it? Yes. Mm-hmm. You see. Okay. Inaccurate, accurate timekeeper. You oh, don't ha, even ha, know. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so it's Loki Relatable Pod, mm-hmm. and then. There's Loki Relatable Pod at gmail.com. Yes. Then there's Loki Relatable Pod on TikTok, I think. And do you have Twitter? That one is Loki Relatable. Yeah, we do have a TikTok. Okay. So, I mean, there's that too. And, uh, yeah, thank you for rocking with us. 
And hopefully we'll see you next season. And you see, Tamara, you didn't talk about how the plants are better. Really? By next season. <laughs> by next season. Guys, hopefully by next season. Forest. <laughs> Manifesting. <laughs> Bye.